Welcome back everyone to another episode of GTA Online Did You Know and today I will be showing you guys how to shoot 100 bullets a second. It's technically like 95 or something but it's a freaking ton in literally one second. Now I do want to say this is a glitch and Rockstar may end up patching it and the reason I'm showing you guys is because I don't think it's game breaking. I mean, if anything, it really just helps against griefers. But as you're seeing in the gameplay, it's absolutely insane. This thing, if you use it correctly against the right vehicles, it just shreds them and destroys them. Now, this glitch only works for two guns in the game. It works for both the revolvers, the Red Dead Redemption revolver and the regular revolver or the Mark II version of it. And with the Red Dead Redemption 2 revolver, I did notice that you actually only shoot about 50 bullets a second instead of 100. But what you're going to end up seeing is that you may want to use that more because it, uh, it doesn't cost as much. With the regular revolver, if you have some of these special ammo types with the Mark II version, it's going to end up costing you quite a bit because you can only have about 230 uh, bullets on you with those special ammo types and i mean shooting 100 bullets a minute that's only like three shots you get before you have to go back to your moc or your avenger and refill it now how you actually do it it's pretty simple but the timing is key the first thing you need to do go into your settings go into your start settings go to the camera option and then actually turn off first person combat roll that's important. If you don't do that, this isn't going to work. Then once you have that, obviously pick pick one of your guns and go into first person. And you're going to want to make sure that it's in the up position aiming towards the sky. You don't want to be aiming it like towards anyone. You want it pointed towards the sky. And what you're going to want to do in first person is very quickly hit the right trigger and then the left trigger and square at the same time. If you do it correctly, once you come out of the combat roll, your guy will shoot up in the air. So again, you quickly tap the right trigger and right after you tap the right trigger, you quickly hit the left trigger and square at the same time and then you let go. That's what I do. There may be a simpler way to do it. I don't know. Some people said you didn't need to do the, the left trigger thing, but that method that I just said works or worked for me every single time. But that's like the only part that you have to get right. And just know if you don't shoot up in the air, it's not going to work. Now, once you get it shot in the air, what you're going to want to do is shoot until you have one bullet left in the revolver. And once you have one bullet left, you're going to want to wait until the gun points back up in the air. That's another key important part. If you don't, it's not going to work. So it does take, you know, a couple of seconds. It's not instant. You can't just instantly, you know, use this. That's why I said it's not really overpowered. But once you get the last bullet and once you have the gun pointed up, then you're good to go. It, you can aim if you want, or you can just look at whatever. And then when you hit the right trigger, now fair warning, it is hard to control because you're shooting 100 freaking bullets a second, but it puts out a ton of damage. You'll see in some of these clips, I took out an Akula that was fully armored with one burst of it. I mean, that's insane. By the way, I do have FMJ bullets on, so I did just want to point that out. I don't know. I didn't test if regular bullets works against some of these aircraft and some of these vehicles. I mainly just use the FMJ bullets because... FMJ bullets are meant for the vehicles and I feel I feel like you're gonna be using this probably to take out some of those annoying vehicles like the Hydra or some of the helicopters if they are annoying you so that's why I decided to use those in this video but we took out the Akula we took out a hunter I tried it against my Avenger now granted no one was in it so the armor was a little decreased but with one burst it destroyed it made it go back to my storage or whatever Someone was flying a Hydra around me. It took that out easy. And even if you don't take out some of the vehicles, like even if you don't blow them up, most of the aircraft will start smoking and they'll basically be dead anyway. So even though you may not get the kill, you'll still take out their vehicle. Now, the reason it's not overpowered, I don't think it's overpowered, is because it's not really good against ground vehicles. I mean, regular vehicles, yeah, it's going to take them out because it's an FMJ bullet. But against stuff like the tank, 
the Insurgent. We even put it against the Stromberg, the Deluxo, stuff like that. It took quite a bit to, to even get them smoking. We tested it against the Insurgent. The Insurgent, I had to go back and get more ammo before it even looked like it was going to start smoking. So you're good if you're an Insurgent. Kanjali Tank, it took, I believe, three or so to get it smoking. With the Stromberg, it took like three or so times, and I don't even think it was smoking. Someone was flying a Deluxo at one point, you may have seen, and I may have damaged the car a little bit, but it was still functional. One thing I forgot to test it against was the fully loaded Runer. I wanted to see what uh, it did against that. Maybe if someone could test that and let me know, that'd be awesome. But that's that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's, it's very, very good for the aircraft in the game. If someone's in a Hydra or in any of the helicopters, really, I mean, you do have to be accurate with it. So again, that's another reason why it's it's not overpowered because yeah you have great power but you also have to control it aim it and if they're flying fast enough or if they're you know flying high enough you're obviously not going to reach them so there is a trade-off to this and plus the the biggest trade-off is that you're going to be spending a ton of money on ammo and the fact that if you're using fmj bullets you have to go back constantly to your avenger or moc to refill it so it's not like you can just have unlimited an unlimited amount of this you have to go back and and pick it up so hopefully you guys can find some use to this at least before rockstar patch it i i hope rockstar don't patch it because it's kind of cool but unfortunately they probably will you know instead of fixing the cars that are broken they're gonna patch this anyway thank you all for watching let me know in the comments what you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think of this do you think it's cool do you think it's overpowered are you gonna use this or not but anyway that is it with the video thank you all for watching please drop the video like if you did enjoy and found it helpful subscribe for more awesome gta content and this series every single saturday and as always i'll see you guys in the next one